certainly looks massive, doesn't he? Michael Murray is 34 years, I tell you. He might be a bit upholstered, but he's a bit dangerous. I just hope that his shoulder stands up. That's been a problem. He once had a nine-second defeat against Pelé Reed, when as he lifted his hand to throw a punch, he dislocated the shoulder. three times in his last fight, but he was still given the decision. Tough one coming up. Well, he's accurate with the spittoon anyway, that's certainly just as accurate with his punches. Taking part in his 35th professional contest, he's from Manchester. Would you please welcome Michael Murray? <laughs> and across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the black and silver trunks and weighing in at 15 stone and 8 pounds. He brings an 11 fight record with 9 wins, 7 by knockout, 1 loss, and 1 draw. He's from Blackpool and Liverpool. Would you please welcome? Matthew Ellis. <laughs> Taking the bell is Tom Rice, and the referee in charge of the action is Ian John Lewis. This is eight three minute rounds. Boxes, I'm the referee, by my command at all times. You bat down the doors, watch them hits, get them punches up. When I shout by, you fight clean. Remember, defend yourself at all times. Shake hands. Well, it's quite the shake that's, that the referee expects, I don't think. It's uh, a little bit of a touch. Rather like the dentist trying to persuade you to sit in the chair quietly before the extraction. <laughs> so now, don't blink because anything can happen here, whether it be a torn shoulder or a knockout. I actually uh, had the pleasure of spending a little time with uh, Michael Murray uh, this year in training camp. and. Uh, Michael Murray has a lot of ability. It's, it depends on the state of mind when he comes in. If, if he's up for a fight, he can perform a lot better than people uh, have seen him in the past. And we all know that Ellis is, is, is a big puncher, but he sometimes neglects his uh, defense. So, you know, the, 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 both guys want this fight. This, this fight, uh, this, this shape up in the first few seconds to, to be a good fight. Well, you know, they could get a British championship shot as well with Julius Francis. And being a British champion is a stepping stone to a, uh, a world title. Well, it has been in the past. Well, now, let's see if uh, Matthew Ellis can improve on his last performance against Harry Senior. And he had to climb off the deck. And much of Three times and, and still got the, the verdict. He just landed a nice little short left hook in there. Matthew Ellis still went in there. He got more his attention with it. Yeah, he has. At least, at least he's come out firing there, Ellis. Stone and two pounds difference, remember? Murray's been in with the tougher opponents, obviously, along the line, and he, he has a 10 round win over uh, Julius Francis. He's a very experienced um, opponent, uh, Murray is, and uh, it, 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 the kind of opponent that uh, Ellis needs to, to uh, help him move up in class. If he wins here tonight, that is. Yeah, 
So one punch can make a difference here. It's, it's all it's bound to need, I think. Either man. Give it away 10 years, uh, Michael Murray. Maybe that's uh, against him. Not always for the heavyweight, Steve. I mean, often they're in their 30s because they really become formidable fighters. Some heavyweights don't reach their best until in the 40s. At least Murray's not hanging around like he often does in the previous fights we've seen him. Not every fight, but certainly not this one. He's, he looks as though he's, he's got a little needle going in here. Well, they, they can't complain. They've got to hear that, haven't they, from uh, Ian John Lewis. He's trying that little uppercut there. I say little, it's a bit of a swipe, really, from Murray. Got some good moves, Matthew Ellis. Well, that's, he was quite pleased the way he stared at uh, Murray there as the bell went. He was, he was very pleased with that. Terry Tall, the manager in the in the red outfit, and a uh, member of the Moorcroft family, well known up there from Blackpool, Mark Ellis. Let's have a look at this replay now. It just well, it's not a bad little sort of a hooky punch, but what was well, it? Let's have a look well, at this, Steve. I think it, it, it was a quite even round, but Ellis, uh, I think, just nicked that round with, with his uh, heavier and more powerful punching. And uh, but that left hook, though, was his best shot of the round that was shown earlier. That's uh, the cut man he calls himself there. Well, hopefully, he won't be needed. He's got a couple of kids as well, and Steve, terribly original names for them, Cassius and Clay. Well, we know he's, he's a fan of, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we should talk about comparisons, though. This is a bangers fight, this one. They're, they're not going to look for any... Both, both guys... each other with science. Both guys have to power to the guy out, but I think Ellis, you know, puts so much power in every, every shot he throws. He looks the fit off the two as well, Ellis. He's, 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 uh, he's tighter and harder looking than Murray, but then Michael Murray has not always looked fit, and yet he's, uh, he's fought 10, 12 round fights and, and been quite active in them. He's only lost one fight, remember, Ellis, and uh, actually he shifted a bit of weight since those days as well. He was uh, just over the 16 stone mark. 15-8 for this one against 16-10. Well, he's in good shape for this fight. He's not carrying any, any, any soft flesh there. He's, he looks solid. Yeah, he's cutting out the, the flashiness that he tended to have with, you know, they were spoiling him a bit in the hometown and up in Liverpool. And he now realises he's got to get down to business. I think he's, he looks like Ellis is waiting for the opening stair. He's kind of standing off when he went for Murray to drop his hands. To let go of some of his big shots. But, but Michael Murray's a clever fighter. If, if Michael Murray really wants this bad enough, he's got the ability to, uh, to win this fight. Well, we'll see what happens when Ellis lands one of his big shots. He's a, he's a bit predictable, actually, Murray. He sort of shows the shot and then throws it. But I'll tell you what, there's a lot of power going in there. Oh, big man over 17 stone lands on even if it's an arm punch you know about it the last fight here Murray fought to Scott Welsh the ex-British champion he stayed eight rounds with him in a close decision and yet he took three counts in that fight as I recall Murray but he was still there at the end well, that shows how good he can perform against a good opponent if he's up for the fight. That was a good result against someone like Scott Welch. 